Alright, before we start this video, can we please just take a moment of silence? Rest in peace, the light bulb that just blew from my favourite lamp. <sighs> if we're not gonna have one, we're not gonna have either. So look, we've just got a bare background today, you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> So, something that you guys know that I love a lot is musical theatre. And the world of musical theatre is something that I have been immersed in for a very long time, but not been public about my love for, in a sense, on the internet for a very long time. When I posted this video uh, about six months ago, a lot of you guys reached out to me saying how much you also loved musical theatre and you had no idea that I loved it as much as I do. So I thought today we would talk about all of the past shows that I've done, how I got into musical theatre, and also my Broadway bucket list, some of the shows that I love and I would love the chance to be a part of one day. As well as I want to share my Broadway playlist for you guys. We can have kind of a musical theatre jam sesh together. So if you're not a musical theatre stand like me and the rest of us, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. But if you are, stick around. I went and I found all of the programs from shows that I have been in. I'm going to go through and show you guys my bios from those shows and kind of show my progression from start to now on in musical theatre. Let's do it. I have always loved theatre. I've been an actor since I was a very, very young child and I did school drama all the way through primary and high school. But it wasn't until I got to college and for me in Tasmania, college is year 11 and 12. We have a complete separate school and I went to a creative arts college, a school that's very directive in their creative arts and very flagship in what they do and just kind of top of the line in Tasmania. Tasmania, I would say. That's kind of where I fell in love with musical theatre. Each year, we did a big school musical. I have just been swept off my feet with love for musical theatre since then. It's just kind of gone and I've progressed into doing more amateur community theatre shows to then hopefully progress as I move onto the mainland and then one day hopefully make it to Broadway. The first musical that I was ever involved in was Hairspray. This is the program. There is one group shot that I'm actually in. I am there and that I am the only person with my arm up the wrong way. What the heck are you doing, man? What the heck are you doing? I'm just gonna read this to you, it's really funny. I was playing Fender, and then when we all got the programs, I had found out that they had named me Fraser in the program. Jacob makes his musical debut in Hairspray this year. After training with Cooper's Green Academy for the last several years, he has been drawn to the stage by his favorite musical this year. He is thrilled to play Fender as one of the nicest kids in town TV cast. He hopes this will be one of many musical productions in the future. So yeah, that was my first bio. Moving through, the next show that I performed in was The Drowsy Chaperone, and I was in the ensemble this year, so this was my grade 12 production, and this is where it gets really funny and where I start to lie in my bio. I had no idea what The Drowsy Chaperone was before we did it. The Drowsy Chaperone is one of Jacob's favourite musicals. After being part of Hairspray with Rosny College last year, he found a real passion for musical theatre. Jacob was most recently seen in Series 2 of Rosehaven, and is currently rehearsing for the role of Nikki in Avenue Q later this year. He just knows that you will enjoy this show in all its glory and hilarity. God bless. So that that kind of leads us into, I was cast as a very small guest role on ABC's Rosehaven. Great present for mum and dad. You've already got a toilet roll holder. Yeah, but when you've got um, two in the one house, man, that's, that's something special. And then moving on from The Drowsy Chaperone, as I said in my bio, after that, I was casting my first ever show outside of school and my first lead role as well. My first time I ever had a solo on stage. I was part of Hobart's production of Avenue Q. I played Nikki, which is the little green puppet. Because I am a lead, I was very excited to actually be part of a lot of photos. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Feel free to stop and read my bio for this one, but I'm not going to read them all anymore. But I just want to show you, look at this headshot. I look atrocious in that photo. Oh my God. Golly gosh. Next show that I did, which was about six months later, was Spring Awakening. And this show was one of the favorite shows I have ever been involved in. We had 10 weeks to rehearse it and put it on, and it was just with such an amazing group of people. A lot of you guys know that when you do a show, you just fall in love with the people and the cast. My little bio here, look at this. Look at that headshot, that's great. Feel free to pause and read my bio. From this point on, because I'm not reading them because they literally just stay the same. I have a note in my phone for whenever I get cast in a show, copy and paste it. Then comes a very special show that I did. I was part of Rosny College's, so my college, I was part of their next show. I was only in college for two, technically three years. We're only meant to do two shows. But I was part of Adam's family because the person who was playing Festa had to drop out relatively last minute. So I had five weeks to get everything together, learn the lines, dances, songs, and everything for Festa in the Adam's family. I ended up shaving my head. 
because I just got to perform with my sister for the first time. It's just a really fun experience, but just look at this. Oh, that makeup is just a thing that happened. It's just a thing. Look at that transformation. That is grand. That is so good. We love that. It's all just the same. It's all just the same, same, but different. Which leads me on to the most recent show that I have been a part of, and I actually played my first lead. I played the title character. Well, it's not actually the title character, is it? Because his name's not in the title. I played Jeremy here, one of my actual favorite shows of all time, which is Be More Chill. The Tasmanian premiere, I had never worked myself harder for a show. It was phenomenal. Once again, I'll show you guys my headshot and bio so you guys can have a quick little old read. Once again, very, very similar bio. But to just see my progression throughout all of these headshots and bios throughout the four years that I had been involved in musical theatre now, it's just really fun to kind of look back. So when I went through and I found all of these programs, I wanted to share that with you guys for anyone who's maybe interested in musical theatre. Just go out and do as much as you can. Just go and start. Audition for everything. If you don't get in, don't get too disheartened. I've been rejected from shows before. It happens to all of us. You have to have stuff on your resume in order to progress. Definitely go out and do that, which kind of takes me on to my Broadway bucket list. My two dream roles, like two roles that I would die to play, one of which is Evan Hansen from Dear Evan Hansen. I just love that role. I love the show. I love Ben Platt, and I think he definitely influenced my love for that show. The more I watch it, the more I listen to it, the more I see of it, I would just love to be part of that show. I'm kind of stamping these here because I want to be able to come back to this video one day and go, yes, I did that. And my other massive role, I have heaps of roles that I would love to play, but the other role that is actually at the top of my Broadway bucket list is SpongeBob. Now, I know that might be like, what to a lot of you guys, but if you don't know, there was a SpongeBob musical that was on Broadway for about six months or a year or so. It is an awesome show. And the actor that played SpongeBob, Ethan Slater, I did such a good job. And that character is just so much fun and the music is awesome. I would just love to get the chance to play with that one day. Dear Evan Hansen and SpongeBob are definitely the two characters at the top of my Broadway bucket list. Previously, I did have three and it was Evan Hansen, SpongeBob and Jeremy from Be More Chill. And the fact that I already got to play one of those, not on Broadway, but even more fun to get to do it in my own hometown with heaps of my friends was an experience that I will never forget. And it was awesome. And it was so much fun. Now, one of the last things I want to talk about in this video is my Broadway playlist. Now, a lot of you guys message me and are like, what are your favorite musicals? What are your favorite this, that, and the other? And that's kind of why I've made this video because I wanted to talk about the musicals that I have done, musicals that I love listening to, roles that I would love. And then also I have a Broadway playlist and it's called JG's Bob. Now, Bob means best of Broadway. If you guys want to go and check it out, I'll leave a link to the Spotify playlist in the description. You can go and check it out, save it, download it, share with me songs that you like. I am consistently updating, changing it. It's got like 10 hours of songs in there. So definitely go check it out. Chuck it on shuffle, jump in the shower, go for a drive, do whatever you want. And last, but definitely not least, I get ridiculous amount of messages for you guys wanting me to post videos of me singing. Now, look, one day I might. It's just singing is a very new thing for me. I like saying that I can sing, but doesn't mean that I'm just going to sit down and do it. I really want to start making music and that's something I've been working on during this isolation. To sit down and just sing a song is just so not my vibe. Covers are just not my vibe. One day, maybe if you guys that are going to comment on this video saying, please sing us a song from Being More Chill. No, stop pushing me. Stop, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's about all for this video. This has been my Broadway bucket list and past roles that I've been involved in. If you want to watch another video of mine, click one of these cards down here. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like. Love you all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mwah.